Hello, my name is Harry and welcome again to A Senior's Perspective with a Twist. Today's subject is common sense. Yeah, I said common sense. If you look around and see the way uh, some people carry themselves uh, and do things, you wonder when you hear their story, do they have or did they have any common sense with that which they got uh, in trouble concerning? Uh, it didn't look like, it didn't sound like that they used any common sense. Common sense is defined as good sense and sound judgment in practical matters. Uh, it's a basic ability to perceive uh, and understand. When we look around us at others, and sometimes we can even look at ourselves, we do a certain thing, then we look in hindsight, why did I ever do this, that, or the other? We all have done it. Uh, I know seniors, we have done it many times uh, in looking back at behaviors, acts, that we have done or gotten involved in, and we wondered, what in the world was I thinking? Common sense is knowing rules and following them to stay safe and not to harm others. Common sense actually begins, this is my thinking, when you're young. You learn your ABCs, you learn your fraction, well, you're adding and subtraction, you're multiplying, and you learn fractions. All these things help to shape us and help to form our common sense. We learn when we were babies to walk, falling down, getting up. When we were a little older, we started to trying to ride bicycles, wearing helmets, knee pads, whatever was needed. We fell off bikes. I fell off. I fell off bikes when I was uh, <laughs> quite small. Uh, skating. Uh, I've fallen. There are certain things that you know you shouldn't shouldn't do. When I skated, there were certain types of skates. When I would go in uh, and go to the rental desk, there were certain types of skates that I would not wear. Uh, specifically those ones that had real loose wh uh, wheels on the bottom. I didn't want them kind. And also didn't want ones that were real tight, real rigid, where I couldn't make my moves. That all came from common sense, learning things. It's something that some people don't seem to have. And they hear things and they believe them. And they do things that they shouldn't have done. We all need to use common sense in everyday living. Um, when we do that, uh, our lives have a better outcome. A and we in the community are looked at as somebody who has some sense about us. Today, uh, I haven't gone into specifics, but today you see so many individuals and it seems like they are not using any common sense. Uh, I will give you an example. If you get stopped at uh, on the highway or in the city by a police officer, common sense tells you you should stop. If it doesn't tell you that, I don't know what, where you're thinking, where your thinking comes in, where you decide to run, where you try to outrun the police officer. You ought to understand that he can call for backup. He can catch you. And you will be prosecuted. And whereas you maybe you would have got a ticket for a rolling stop or running a red light or maybe five or ten miles over the speed limit, that would have been a ticket. But common sense says to stop and take your punishment. <laughs> you broke the law. Common sense says sit there and or you should say sit there and take what's coming to you. And that's not bad because that's a learning experience. 
I've been stopped by the police for speeding years ago, and I got a ticket. I would imagine what it would have been had I not stopped. Common sense, good judgment, the basic ability to perceive and understand he's a police officer and he has authority to stop me and to give me a ticket. And especially if I knew that I was guilty of speeding, it wouldn't make any sense for me. Notes what I said, wouldn't make any sense. That's common sense. Make no sense for me to go ahead and drive off, have him chase me down. And who knows what could happen in that situation. So common sense, we all need to use it. God has given us uh, these abilities and especially those of us who are seniors, uh, we sit amused by some of the young individuals and even older ones don't seem like they've learned anything who do some of the things that we see done on the news. Uh, so today I say, thank God for common sense. I can avoid, you can avoid uh, a lot of the troubles that some people who don't seem to, to display common sense and they get themselves into trouble. Uh, with that being said, we hope that you like the program. Uh, subscribe. If you have a comment you'd like to make, we say go ahead and make that comment because we welcome them. Thank you for watching this program and have a good day.